Hello Aquarius, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today for Aquarius. Okay. So we Okay, so we have past life relationship, we also have deception, and then we also have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. At the bottom of the deck, we do have reconciliation. Now keep in mind, Aquarius, this could be your overall energy or someone external to you, but I do feel like someone's reaching out to someone that they clearly have like a massive falling out with. This is kind of like an overall energy of wanting to discuss what essentially happened here and what caused a separation or this big fight and or argument. Now, like I said, Aquarius, this could definitely represent somebody extending themselves to you wanting to have this conversation or you extending yourself to someone. Um, but we'll see. We're going to focus on you first and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Aquarius currently view this relationship? We have the Seven of Cups. We also have the Three of Cups. And then we also have the Knight of Swords. You could be dealing with a Scorpio strongly, possibly a Cancer, maybe even a Gemini. It doesn't necessarily have to be the case, though. How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the Six of Wands. Okay. We have the Seven of Wands. And then we also have the Five of Wands. I'll be honest, somebody's kind of looking at you like... Let me let me let me not say it like that. You you got somebody here that you're pursuing. You got somebody here that you're trying to essentially build a relationship with Aquarius. But whoever this person is, they're kind of looking at you like you're no good. I'm gonna be completely honest. Let's just get straight to the point here. We are dealing with Aquariuses here, right? You guys like when people are very blunt and straight to the point here. Whoever this person is, they're looking at you like you're no good. You don't mean well. And I feel like this person is like establishing really harsh boundaries with you because of that, okay? Not only that, but I feel like this person in particular, they're looking for something meaningful and they're kind of looking at you like, that's not something that you're trying to build. That's not something that you're trying to create uh, with this person in particular. Um, now, here's the thing. When it comes down to you, Aquarius, with the Seven of Cups to the Three of Cups to the Knight of Swords, I do feel like you're keeping your options open. I do feel like you're talking to multiple people. I do feel like, you know, you're really putting yourself out there and things of that nature. There's nothing wrong with that, but you're giving this person, like, the overall impression that, you know, you're not trying to build anything meaningful. You're just here to have a good old time. Nothing more, nothing less. They, they've seen your kind before, so to speak. That's kind of how they're looking at you. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with what you're doing here, you know, as far as, like, exploring your options, getting to know people like there's nothing wrong with that but just just be mindful just be mindful that like, you're dealing with a little bit of a tough cookie here they're looking at you like you're not really trying to build anything meaningful here you're just here to waste our time and with that being said i guess we'll see how this plays out right between you and this person how does um aquarius currently feel What's, what's going on, Aquarius? What's going on, man? What's going on? Got the Ace of Wands. We have the uh, King of Cups. And then we have the Empress. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Two of Cups. Okay. Well, let, let's talk about this. It, it's starting to kind of look like to me that whoever it is that you're socializing with or talking to or getting to know, it's not somebody that you want anything serious with. It's someone that you don't necessarily see yourself going off and building a life with. And it has a lot to do with the simple fact that you've already met someone that you feel like you could obviously establish, you know, a life with. And I don't feel like it's this person to the right of me, okay? I want to look into this Empress a little bit more because I feel like this Empress has your heart. I feel like this Empress genuinely does have your heart, and this Empress is like the one that you actually want for yourself. Let's see what's going on between you and this Empress. Tell me more about the King of Cups and the Empress, please. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, hold on. Okay. I see. It kind of looks like you and this Empress are really kind of going through it. Uh, that's one thing that I will say. This Empress could have very well decided to essentially walk away from you for whatever reason. But I feel like you're still trying to figure things out here between you and this Empress. Like I said, you know, whoever it is that you're currently socializing with and or talking to, 
it's not somebody that you want something serious with. Let's just be honest. It's not something that, it's not somebody, I'm sorry, that you want anything serious with. And that has a lot to do with the simple fact that we have an empress here that basically has your heart, okay? And that's who you want to be with. That's who you want to build with. But it just kind of looks like things are a little rocky right now between you and this empress. Let's jump over to this other human, shall we? Keep in mind, Aquarius, because I am getting three people, you could be the person to the right of me, or you could very well be this person to the left of me, or you can be this empress. So just keep that in mind. If you recently walked away from someone, if you're recently going through it with someone in particular, you would definitely be this empress that I'm talking about. How does this person currently feel? You know, this is interesting because this is that, that type of person that doesn't really listen to themselves and or their higher self. Um, you know, and, and it's not to say anything bad about you, Aquarius, but I feel like right off the bat, you know, this person knows that you're not trying to build anything meaningful with them. You're just here to, you know, I don't know, have a good old time because, well, let's just be honest, you know, it kind of looks like that. <laughs> it does kind of look like that's the case here. And it has a lot to do with the fact that you don't really see anything serious here with this person, right? Um, again, it, there's already somebody here who has your heart. That's it. Um, and with that being said, I... I feel like it's obviously this Empress. I don't feel like it's this Queen of Swords over here. Now, what's interesting about this Queen of Swords is that they're very wise, they're very intelligent, but I don't feel like they listen to their higher self, nor do I feel like they take their own advice. Like, they're looking at you like, you know, you're just here to have a good old time. You're just here to waste their time. They've seen your type before, yada, yada, yada. But yeah, and still, they're not taking... They're not taking their own advice here. They're really, really not. This is kind of like an overall energy of, you know what? Let me let me give Aquarius the benefit of the doubt. Let me see where this goes. Like it has that feel and I feel like they're gonna be left feeling extremely disappointed in the end. Cause again, they don't have your heart, this Empress does. That's what it all boils down to. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. See, the thing is with you, especially with the seven of cups to the ace of cups. This is somebody who's very crystal clear on what their heart wants. Something's, you know, taking a lot of space in your heart space. And it's basically this empress, right? And with that being said, as far as like this, this queen of swords that you're socializing with and or talking to, it's like, you just don't really see anything there. You just don't. Because who you rather manifest and create a life with is this empress, not this queen of swords. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. What actions will this person take towards Aquarius and moving forward? Okay, come on. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Six of Cups. We also have the Sun. And then we have Judgment. Something's being revealed to this person. And it's causing them to kind of feel, I hate to say this word, this word, I'm sorry if I can talk this morning, I hate to say this word, but it's causing them to feel a little stupid, I will say. What actions? Yeah. So let's talk about it. As far as like your, your situation here with this queen of swords that you're like mingling with, talking to, whatever have you, I see you kind of choosing at this point in time to not continue to engage in or give to this situation why because well you know who you want to be with you know who you want to establish a life with and it ain't them okay it just it just isn't them with the two of wands to the seven of pentacles to the five of cups this is that moment of realization that you're basically having you're realizing that this person that you're investing your time and energy towards which is this queen of swords to the right of me is not somebody that you actually see yourself having a future with okay this is you basically being real with yourself right and as you're having like this moment of realization you're being put in a situation where it does kind of require you to take some action here towards this empress so we're going to look a little bit more into that but as far as this queen of swords is concerned i don't see you giving to this situation anymore and like i said this person's having this moment of realization it's causing him to feel really stupid for even you know, giving you the benefit of the doubt, um, allowing themselves to develop emotions for you, you know, things of that nature. Tell me more about judgment. This person's basically realizing that you're still hung up on whoever this empress is. 
That's what it all kind of boils down to. You're still very much so hung up on them. And with that being said, it's causing them to feel extremely foolish, uh, to be completely honest, but it is what it is, right? I feel like everybody can take, you know, a lesson from this entire experience. For this Queen of Swords, they need to learn how to listen to their intuition, their higher self, and take their own advice. Not to say that you're a bad person or anything like that, but let, truth of the matter is, is that you don't see anything serious with this Queen of Swords. You just don't. Point blank, period. It sucks. Yes, I know, I get it. But you just don't see anything serious there, nor do you want anything serious there, right? Um, and I feel like they can sense that and they can feel that right off the bat. But it's like, well, let me just see, you know, like maybe I could be wrong. It's like, no, you're not wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and again, it's not to say that you're, you know, a bad person or anything like that. It just is what it is, right? Because what's really taking up your heart right now is basically this empress, that's what it all boils down to. So because they're still kind of occupying that space, you're not going to be capable of going off and giving your all to another person when there's someone else obviously occupying that space, okay? Let's see what you plan on doing. Tell me more about this two of wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune, we got the Ten of Pentacles, we also have the Ace of Cups, and then we have the High Priestess. On an, on an intuitive level, it kind of looks like you know exactly what you have to do to turn this entire situation around. And it does kind of require you to really come in, put in the hard work and the labor to try to repair things here between you and this Empress. So like I said, Aquarius, you're either this Empress or you're this King of Cups or you're this queen of swords, because I am getting three people, okay? But yeah, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hopefully the reading helped, hopefully it resonated. Also too, for those of you who wanna follow me on Instagram, it's linked in the description box down below, and I will see you guys in your next reading, bye.